In this video, we'll give you an overview of the online computation channels. Online computations are performed immediately during the measurement with each measured value. Therefore, you can use these channels also for triggering and event monitoring and display them simultaneously with your measurement channels. Online computations can be defined and modified in the DAC Channels tab, which has to be done before starting a measurement. First, I'll give you a brief overview of the online computations. Formulas contains most of the functions, and we want to start with that right away. Under Formulas, we have the Formula Editor, the predefined formulas, the linearization, and the statistics. Let us start with a simple formula. Force A plus force B equals total force. Assign a unit. And with Create Computation, we have created our first computation channel. As you can see, many mathematical functions can be created with a single click. Somewhat hidden under additional functions, you can find several important functions. For example, the if function. With the if function, we can define powerful trigger conditions. The trigger shall be activated if the force is greater than 500 Newton, or the displacement is less than 10 millimeters, and at the same time, the temperature is greater than 50 degrees Celsius. The result of this computation is either 1 or 0. We'll now name this channel Trigger Channel. Now we'll take a short trip to the DAC job and use this channel as a trigger channel. Ready. But now back to the other functions of the formula editor. Here you can also find differentiation, integration, and RMS value. Now we want to differentiate our displacement to obtain the vibration velocity as a result. So the result would be millimeters per second, or we divide by 1000 and get meters per second. Create computation. Ready. With the panel input, you can optimize a computation using an input object in the visualization. You can also use a cursor position as the basis for a computation. The formula database allows for easy access to and reuse of predefined formulas. I'll now load a formula collection. Select a formula, display its details, and can use the formula immediately. I'll now add my last calculation to the formula database. Assign a name and add a short description. Now I can load the saved formula again. Here you can find the recently used formulas and transfer them to the editing window with one click. If you want to share such formulas with colleagues or customers, save the formulas to a file. Each entry gets a name, a brief description, and, of course, the formula itself. At first glance, the predefined formulas do not seem to be as powerful as the formula editor. This is partly true. The predefined formulas are not as flexible as the formula editor, but are executed much faster. Use these computations if you have to calculate many channels and want to spare computer resources. The linearization enables you to use an additional scaling for a channel. Two-point scaling, linearization table, polynomial, and strain gauge computations are possible. Under statistics, you will find maximum, minimum, and time at level. The minimum and maximum functions are particularly useful when monitoring many similar channels. So if you have a lot of temperatures or strains and the test should be triggered or stopped when a certain limit value is reached, then this function is ideal. Use the time at level statistics computation if you need only one interval instead of a complete class counting. A wide range of powerful calculations are predefined in the strain gauge calculation. Especially if many strain gauges are to be calculated, it is important that the computation of principal normal stresses and angles is quick and easy. Automatically complete is activated by default. You only need to assign the first channel in your channel list and Catman will add the other channels automatically. You only need to activate the desired computation channels, select the type of rosette, Type in the material properties, transfer the transverse sensitivities from the strain gauge package, 
and then generate all computation channels with a single click. To compensate for the temperature influence on strain gauges, you can either use a strain gauge channel that is only subject to the temperature influence but not to mechanical strain, or you can measure the temperature on site and use the correction values from the gauge package. Quantum X, MGC Plus, and PMX modules already have low pass filters which you can configure appropriately. However, the filter online computations provide additional functions. We now want to define a Butterworth bandpass. I'll show you how to define a Butterworth bandpass for multiple channels. You can also add a whole series of channels at once. Just select the channels and add them with one click. To assign a name, I just enter a suitable string, which gives information about the used mathematics. In doing so, I immediately create all desired channels at once. A hint about the phase correction function. As you are probably aware, different filter settings lead to different run times. To correct this, you can move backwards on the time axis channels with shorter run times. Maybe you could save only the corrected values in the DAC job without saving the raw data. Peak Valley is often used in fatigue tests. This is usually the case when materials or components are subjected to cyclic loading and the minimum and maximum values of this loading are more significant than the actual curve. Creating the peak valley calculation is quite simple. You only have to select the source channels and define a hysteresis. As a result, Catman provides minimum, maximum, and the cycle counter for each channel. In this example, you see the force and strain signals on the left-hand side and the results of the peak valley calculation on the right-hand side. With each load change, only one measured value for max and min is created. Here, you can see that the extreme values of the casual force remain stable and how the extreme values of the strain vary over the load changes. This is, of course, only an example. If this calculation is of interest to you, you should definitely take a look at the cycle-dependent intervals DAC job storage mode. With the class counting computations, you can reduce the data volume considerably already during the measurement. This plays a major role, especially in the case of long-term tests. With the rain flow analysis, you can define the number of classes, the class boundaries, as well as the minimum amplitude. Both the from to and range mean methods are supported. With time at level, time at level compound counting and span pairs, further powerful functions for online computations are available. You can also insert additional math libraries. The computation of electrical power provides effective values, RMS, for current and voltage, active power, apparent power, reactive power, and the power factor. You also have the option of compensating for the time delay of the current measurement when using a current clamp. The signal generator is particularly useful for testing mathematical computations, visualizations, and further processing. Professional trainings are available at our HBK Academy for beginners and advanced, of course, also for Catman. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time.